Hello and welcome. Today we've got this uh, 18 volt 5 amp battery. It won't charge past two bars. Three of me. Yeah. Won't charge. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. This is one of the times it doesn't. So how do we find out what's wrong with this? First of all, we've got to open it. There we are. If we take the top off, we can see this is a fairly clean battery. If we look under this little um, heat protector, get it off. Let's get it pried up a bit to the seat. Yeah, we can see that air is intact. There's a little uh, fusible link there. If she gets under pressure, if an overload happens, she just burns that out. But that's intact. And all these seem to be intact here. There seems to be nothing wrong with the terminals at the top. Very clean looking. Um, we can do a quick volt check from the top. Just to see. So a quick volt check. First bank of cells. 408. That's full. That's fully charged. Next bank. Three, we'll see you put the ring the right way. 357, 3.57, 3.58. We'll try this one now. 3.58 and 3.58. You see that? 3.59. To explain what's going on here, this bank is at maximum charge. These two cells at the front. The other eight are 3.58, which is near enough minimum charge. So that's why it's not powering the tool. There's a bit of circuitry in the tool tells the uh, tells the drill not to go because the cells are low, and there's circuitry in the charger that tells the tells the charger to stop charging the battery because these cells are high. So these are stopping it from charging. The rest are stopping the drill from going. I better take it out of the pack just to make sure there's no broken connections as well but really what we have here is cell imbalance I need to use a charger to bring up these eight cells these four banks of two up equal to this and then we should have a good battery so we'll just get this out of the pack here Pull these out there we are that should come now This is a fairly clean battery. This is a 2021 battery, which by the standards I'm usually working with is not old. And there's very little corrosion. There's a wee bit here. Some of the ones I get are very badly corroded. They're actually hideous. So that's what's wrong with this battery. There's nothing wrong with the connections there. All the connections look good. That's totally what's wrong with her. The low cells are stopping it from powering the tool and the high cells are stopping it from charging. So that's what cell imbalance does to your battery. So putting that back in, we don't need it out to balance the cells. What we do need to balance the cells however is this Lipro balance charger. It's an IMAX B6. I'm going to put a link in the description and probably pinned in the comment section so you can buy one of your very own. If you are balancing a pack, it's very important where to, to know where to put on the terminals, to know which ones that you are actually charging. So we're charging these four banks. So we'll start off at the plus side of this one. Um, we'll see you get a good, a good clip on it. The plus side would be that connection there. That's not so bad. And we'll be going from here to here. To here, to here, so there, but we can take a shortcut and clip it onto this part here. See the little spark there? So that's making the connection. 
the whole way and the light pro we have to set the light pro for 4S you set her for light pro charge because you charge a lot of my own I charge I put it in 6 amps so it's a fast charge that's 14.8 volts which is 16 volts fully charged which is 4S which is 4 series of cells that's that's the way it works that's 4 banks of cells there and you hold the button on do you hear a beep and it checks the battery and then you confirm you press enter again and if you're just charging two banks of cells you go 2s 1s 3s whatever you're doing and the whole thing the whole packs 5s so we'll leave that on a while and we'll come back to it a few guys in the comment section who are going to tell me to connect the positive and negative of this battery to another good battery just don't bother that'll not work in this case trust me I've been at this a while right, I've just switched off the charger there and I'm going to remove these and we're going to do a little test again to see where we are as far as voltage in this if you remember the front one here was over 4.08 or something like that 4.07 or whatever and it's 4.03 so that's close close enough for me again 4.03 put that light on again there for you again 4.03 and last but not least the one on the end is 4.03 so we got more balance pack here now so we'll put it together now and see what we have if i'm correct the charger should finish the short the short job of finishing off the charge in that one it mightn't take any charge at all, it might be falling off, you know. Or maybe a couple of minutes, I don't know. And it should run the tool now. Definitely should run the tool. Right, this battery's back together. We've got three bars. If we put in the charger, it's shown fully charged, which you would expect. And if I put it in the tool, it's shown as working. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.